please know there are still some unanswered questions. We're going to work through those with feedback from each of you. We hope to have those questions answered as soon as possible. We plan to share our district plan for reopening today with you. We hope that this will help you better understand the plans for the upcoming school year. As long as we can do so, you will have the option to send your child to attend school in a traditional manner. We did send out a survey asking if you were interested in your child attending virtually from home. The result of the survey will allow us to better prepare as it will give us an idea of how many students will be on site and how many students are planning to be virtual students. Knowing this information allows us to make better informed decisions on implementing all of the guidelines from the state and federal governments. We know this is a time of uncertainty for our students, our faculty, and our community. The support from the parents and community through all of this has been very positive and encouraging. We appreciate your patience and understanding as we prepare for a great school year. And as always, it's a great day to be a Badger. A few updates before we share our plan with you. Schools across Arkansas are adopting face covering guidelines. The Arkadelphia School District plans to do the same in our next school board meeting on Tuesday, August the 4th. Our school district was asked by the Arkansas Department of Education to select a point of contact. This person will stay in constant contact with the Arkansas Department of Health. Our school district has appointed Beth Hasley. Beth is a registered nurse and will serve as our point of contact for the Arkadelphia School District. Beth will provide more information tomorrow in another question and answer session regarding screening, health, and safety protocols for our district. This is the first of a series of videos to help our families with communication regarding the upcoming year. Today, we will be covering district information. Tomorrow will be health and safety protocols with our district nurses. Wednesday, we will feature our building principals answering specific question for each of their campuses. So now we'll go into our plan for reopening the Arkadelphia School District. Our school district is committed to the safety of all students and staff and will implement the latest health and safety guidelines. We are committed to connecting all K through 12 students to high quality instruction and engagement regardless of their location. Our start date for school will be Monday, August the 24th. We will welcome our students back on Monday, August 24th. We are excited to announce that our district, when we reopen, we will open with a one-to-one -one initiative for all K-12 students. We did receive CARES Act funding for our district, around 350,000. This allowed us to provide a new opportunity for each of our K-12 students. They will have a digital de device that will enable access to online instructional content. So our, all of our students K through eight will have an Acer touchscreen Chromebook. And this means for a kindergarten student, that student will, will have the opportunity to have a touchscreen while they will not have to use that pad if needed. Grades nine through 12 will have MacBook Air laptops. Our district is working to ensure that each student in the district has internet access that is sufficient to utilize our district learning management system. Today, Governor Hutchison just announced that the state was given $10 million. This is to work with internet providers to provide hotspots or access to students across the state. So we're very excited about this. Our students will not only have, each student will have their own computer, but we will also have internet access for all of our students. Now, I would like to introduce Dr. Turner.
She is our Director of Curriculum and Instruction. She will discuss our Ready for Learning student options. Thank you, Dr. Nethery. As Dr. Nethery stated, we are scheduled to start school on August 24th and will offer two learning options for the 2020-2021 school year. Those will be on-site blended learning and a virtual learning model. What is the on-site blended learning option? Students who, and families who choose this option will come to school five days a week. They will return to campus each day for a more traditional classroom learning experience with safety precautions implemented. This is not a split time between campus and home as some have previously thought. Classroom instruction will incorporate technology and online content using a learning management system. The goal is to help students and teachers pivot to at-home learning in the event of a school closure or a need to quarantine. Families choosing this option are not required to fill out the online registration form. The virtual learning model, students will learn five days a week from home. The question has been frequently asked is, can my students still participate in extracurricular activities? Any student that chooses the virtual learning model can still participate in AAA sanctioned activities such as band, choir, and athletics. This option does require registration and the registration form is available on the district website and we ask that you complete it by July 31st. Families that choose this option are encouraged to stick with this option for nine weeks, but we will work with families should the need arise. Computers and other materials will be provided by the district. Students that choose this option will not be penalized for choosing virtual and will still have GT, advanced placement courses, and extracurricular activities. This option will mirror the classroom experience as much as possible. So the question we've been asked, so how does this differ from last, last spring? Last spring, schools planned for 10 AMI days or alternate instruction days and were expected to return to school after spring break. No new content, we were directed not to provide new content and to be very flexible in regard to grading and attendance since students did not have devices and reliable internet access across the state of Arkansas. This year, new content will be introduced. Students in grades K through 12 will have a, a device. A learning management system has been selected for use in K through 12. Online content has been identified for grades K through 12. And we are working on providing internet access to families who do not have it. The identified learning management system for grades K through 12 is Buzz. Buzz is being provided free to districts by the Arkansas Department of Education for the 2021 school year. Many of you may be familiar with Echo. Echo is the, e the Buzz is the basis for Echo and they will look and function much the same. In K2, they will also use Seesaw, but understand that the learning management system used by virtual students and on-site students will be the same. Work is submitted and graded through the learning management system. We have also identified an online content provider. Lincoln Learning is also provided by the Department of Education free of charge to districts. Content includes K-12 English Language Arts, K-12 Mathematics, K-12 Social Studies, K-12 Science, K-12 PE, K-8 Music and Art, plus some elective courses. This has been described as a textbook. Each course contains 180 lessons, in the school year's 178 days, a teacher may not start on day one and work through them sequentially. The content is fully customizable. Teachers e can easily add their own content and will be encouraged to do so, whether it's to add a video of them teaching, their own assignments, or their own assessments. The LMS is web-based and will not require a special app or device. The Arkansas Public School Resource Center is creating student and teacher accounts that we hope will be here soon. We were also asked to identify a diagnostic assessment for students in grades K through eight. Our, disti our district selected NWEA, and many of you for are already familiar with it as we have used this, this assessment in our district for several years. There is now an, an, an option where this assessment can be completed online at home by virtual students. Dibbles is administered to students in K2 
and can also be completed at home by virtual students. We are also exploring ways that classroom tests can be administered at home with the use of technology. Some have asked, how will you fill in learning gaps created by the close of school last spring? We will be using the Arkansas Playbook created by the Arkansas Department of Education. The department brought together teams of teachers to identify essential, essential standards from each grade level. So a fourth grade teacher, for instance, will use the playbook from third grade and help ensure that those students receive the necessary learning in the years prior. What will virtual learning look like for my student? Well, it depends. Some have asked, will a teacher be assigned a virtual class? A teacher may or may not be assigned to teach only virtual students, depending on the number of students that assign up for virtual learning at each grade level. This, of course, will impact the amount of time during the school day a teacher is available to interact with students at home. But teachers will still nev nevertheless be expected to interact with students regularly. Students will have access virtually or in person to a teacher from the Arkadelphia School District. But please understand, this will not be a live feed of the classroom due to privacy concerns. And no, students will not be required to log on from home from 8 to 3 o'clock for those of you concerned about screen time. More specific information will come from building principals on Wednesday. Great job, Dr. Turner. Thank you. Now I'm going to introduce uh, Mr. Jimmy King. He's our Director of Support Services. He's going to address some on-site safety uh, uh, for all of our students and staff. Thank you, Dr. Nethery. Many of you have had lots of questions about starting back to school. One of the most common questions that we are asked is, what is the school's response or what are you going to do if there is a COVID-19 school outbreak uh, in school? The Arkansas Department of Education has outlined a response protocol that the Arkadelphia Public Schools will implement in the event of a positive COVID-19 case within the district. There are three levels of responses. One is limited, second is moderate, and the third is critical. For a more detailed explanation of each of these levels, you can go to our district website and the link for ADE response levels for on-site learning. Dr. Nethery has already mentioned, Beth Hasley is the Arkadelphia Public School District Registered Nurse. She will serve as the point of contact between the school district and the Department of Health. Nurse Hasley will contact the school hotline when notified of a district-related positive COVID-19 case and work with school personnel to identify probable causes, excuse me, probable close contacts, or PCC. What is PPE? Personal Protective Equipment. The school district will provide three washable masks for each student and staff in the district. Masks will be required for all adults, including faculty, staff, and visitors while on campus. Masks will be required for all students with the exceptions of health consideration, lunches, and athletic activities. Dr. Turner mentioned that some of these things are going to be dist or school building uh, specific, uh, but each school has met with their Ready for Learning committee and they have outlined uh, uh, procedures for each building. Uh, you can contact your building uh, principal for more specific questions. Some of those will be answered later this week when the principals have their uh, video session. But signage at entrance and throughout the building is posted with the latest health and safety guidelines. Hand sanitizing stations will be located throughout the schools. Visitors will be limited to the office at this time. Access and flow of hallways will implement health and safety considerations. And social distancing floor adhesives will be placed in high traffic areas. Classrooms. Classroom seating charts will be implemented. Uh, Dr. Nethery mentioned that we do have one-to-one -one technology for each student. Sanitizing and disinfecting procedures will be performed regularly and during class changes. Uh, custodial staff will be using electrostatic fogging and misting machines each day. 
schools will have individual supplies, our students will have individual supplies to limit any contact exposure with shared supplies. Restroom and water access. Parent and peak will schedule restroom breaks by class. Appropriate signage with health and safety guidelines will be posted. And students were encouraged to bring their own filled water bottle from home at this time. Many have asked, well, how will students eat lunch and breakfast? Arkadelphia High School will expand the current number of lunch periods from two to three separate lunch groups. Parrot, Peak, and Goza campuses at this time will eat within their classroom setting. Recess, there will be recess. Playground equipment will be cleaned and disinfected between each recess and at the beginning of each day. Parrot and Peak will alternate X or recess by grade levels and all areas of the playground will be sectioned off to help provide better supervision. Transportation. Arkadelphia Public Schools recognize the importance of transportation and will continue to provide bus service following current routes for students attending classes in the on-site learning option. However, we are encouraging parents whenever possible, please bring your children to school. Bus drivers will be required to wear a mask. At bus stops, physical distance six feet apart between students at bus stops is highly encouraged. Also wearing a face mask at bus stops is highly encouraged. While on the bus, students will be asked to wear face coverings on the bus due to the inability to properly physically distance. Hand sanitizer will be provided on each bus. When possible, bus windows will be open to allow outside air to circulate on the bus. Seats, handles, and high touch areas will be disinfected between morning and afternoon routes. Disinfectant will be administered after each morning and after two afternoon route. And hand sanitizing stations, again, will be at each drop off and pick up location at the school sites. Thank you, Mr. King. Thank you for tuning in today. We realize that this does not answer all of your questions. Again, this is the first of a series of videos to help our families with communication. We will continue to post updated information about the upcoming year on our website and also on social media. Again, today we address the district uh, tomorrow, our two district nurses will be on to um, talk about health and safety protocols. And then Wednesday, please tune in to hear from all of our principals about specific things to each campus. We look forward to serving you and your family for this upcoming school year. Thank you very much.